because I was angry. I would flip my bed over, tear up the machine that administered the pain medication. And I'm sure Scott and White, nobody's in the audience for Scott and White, is it? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably looking for me right now to hand me a bill for tearing up property. But after getting through rehab and learning how to administer my medication, I was on a liquid diet for about two years. So just imagine, wow, we had this wonderful lunch. Just imagine not being able to ha taste baked chicken or fried chicken for almost two years. That was my reality. I was on a liquid diet for some time. But in order for me to get out of rehab, I had to learn how to administer my medication. I had to learn how to bandage up my face. And I learned how to do all of that because I was determined to carry on with my life. I would learn about an organization called Face to Face. And this organization helps out women that have been abused or battered from their neck up. And they helped me get reconstructive surgery. I met my wonderful doctor, Dr. Eugene Alfred, that uh, reconstructed my face there at Methodist Hospital in Houston, Texas, at no cost to me. Um, so I have had 11 surgeries total. I am going on my 12th surgery, November the 6th. Now, how many of you in the audience got to pick out your own nose when you came into this world? <laughs> Not too many. I got to pick out my own nose, and thanks to my wonderful little dog, Landon Eugene, that I named after my head surgeon, I would get to pick out a new nose. They told me that when I first got my nose that, you know, Carolyn, if you have a pet, you don't want to lay it around because you may think it's a chew toy. <laughs> well, little Landon did just that. I was getting ready to take one of my board members around, and I, some of my board members, I take them around during the day. They may need to go shopping or whatever it is they need to do. and. I have to take my prosthesis off to clean it and put some more adhesive on there. And so I put it on the sink, walked off for a little while, and went back to it, and it wasn't there. And I'm going all over around the house. And you know how sometimes you may lay stuff down, and you know that's where you put it? So you keep going back to that yeah, spot? Well, by then my board member called, and she was like, Carolyn, she said, do you know you're running late? And I said, well, yes, Miss Campbell, I know I'm running late. I said, but I cannot find my nose. <laughs> so she says, well, Carolyn, she said, have you checked the dog? And I was like, no, you know, I haven't checked the dog. And I went in there. Lo and behold, a landing had my nose. He was shaking it. Just all around. So thanks to him. Kind of ripped at the bottom and I get to pick out a new one. <laughs> I also received a, a prosthetic eye, uh, which was really neat uh, seeing how they make the prosthetic eye. But through all those surgeries and having a wonderful counselor, I found out what my purpose was. I found out why I was left here. And the reason for that I, how I found out why I was left here, I remember I would always ask those nurses and they would all, you know, people would ask me, you know, Carolyn, are you angry with God? I would always tell them, no, I'm not angry with God. I was just curious or would say, question him as to why me? What did I do in my past to deserve this? And having just wonderful nurse, nurses, they would always tell me, Carolyn, God's not going to put more on you than you can bear. So if he didn't think you could handle this situation, it would not have happened. So obviously they're right, and what it says in the Bible is right, because I think I'm handling my situation very well.